Morning, Joe. Good morning, Steph. How are you today? Oh, you know me. Carb, DM and all that. But are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted to check in on my troops, you know. Well, this is one little soldier you don't have to worry about. New leaf turned over, nose to the grindstone. I'm really glad to hear that. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Mr. Campbell. Mr. Tyler. Max. Oh. Where is school? This isn't school, this is my office. Uh, your office? It's one of the perks of the job. Come. Morning. Hey, Chris. How's Trace? Yeah, great. Hi, Kim. Hiya. Ah, uh, Rachel. Right. Well, we'll get straight to it. If we're serious about exam results and improving our league table positions, we need every single teacher at the top of their game. A single standard of excellence across the school. Which has always been our aim. To... What we really need is a one-off across the board assessment by all heads of department starting today. Can we do that? Absolutely. No time like the present. Shall we? Don't you think this might backfire? Huh? Some of the staff may feel it, it shows a lack of trust. I've been talking to Joe Lipset, she's ready to start today. But what, you've already set this up? The results in her department are certainly below what we're after, considering her exemplary record. Right, and, and, and the staff are being assessed, do they know about it? No, we want to see how they really teach from day to day, and if they're good enough, and why wouldn't they be? No problem, is there? Morning, everyone. As you all know, years seven and nine are out on field trips today. Hey. So, this gives us the perfect opportunity to start our new staff-wide teacher assessment. You are all going to be monitored in class by your head of department starting today. Oh, well, just install CCTV and be done with it, George Orwell, eat your heart out. Think of it as a clean slate. New school, new standards, new start. We'll let you know more as and when. In the meantime, if you have any questions, Rachel will be happy to answer them. Departmental heads, I'd like an update at the end of play. Today? Yes, Tom, if that's not too much trouble. That's all I need. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just window dressing. Executive head flexing his muscles. Look, I'd be fine if they didn't expect you to do any actual teaching. Are you ready for the off, Steph? What do you mean? Well, the assessment Mr Tyler was just talking about. Your starts this morning, first period. But I don't worry, just act like I'm not there. Anyway, I'm very keen to see this new leaf you've turned over. Tout le jeu, je viens à la plage et regarde la marée monter et. Très bien, Denzel. Mais comme pensons les autres? Very good, Denzel. But what do the others think? Anyone? Okay, um, what was the passage about, Denzel? First it was about a dog, then it was about a boy who falls in love with his mother. <laughs> Not quite, but, uh, but but a good try. Anyone else? Um, it's about a man describing how he loves the sea. Thank you, Em. La mer, the sea. La mer, the mother. Anything else? Okay. Um, read your worksheets and answer the questions carefully and take your time. They're um. Very slow this morning. <laughs> hmm. What an uncountable creature is that brother of mine to send them to the house as an inn. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't wonder at his impudence. <laughs> oh, come on, who's reading the maid? Uh, what? Danielle, it's not like you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you can't be bothered to read aloud, at least do us the courtesy of trying to stay on the right page. We wouldn't want to waste our head of department's time, would we? 
Right, someone else read it, Triona. But what is more, madam? Just get a grip. Stop being such a lightweight, yeah? Ask me if you were barmaid. He mistook you for the barmaid. <laughs> You're coasting there, Steph. It's like you dug out some old worksheet that you've been using since you qualified. In subsequent lessons, I want to see a sharp... Subsequent lessons? What I want to see is a sharper focus. A clear command of the syllabus and a little bit of classroom control. If an exercise isn't working, then you make it work. Or you just try something else. You don't blame the kids. You're there to teach them stuff. You have to give them what they need to learn. Okay. Got it. Look, I'm here to help you. All right, I am not here to try and catch you out. Why don't you give me your lesson plans beforehand and I can help you get them into shape? Lesson plans? Won't that ruin the surprise? Jo? How's it going? OK, I'm just getting started, really. Well, don't be afraid to come down on the hard. She's exactly the kind of teacher who's been holding this place back. <sighs> Hang on a minute. I mean, aren't I the one doing the assessment? Yes, yes, of course, but you said yourself, Steph's a poor performer, questionable attitude. This would be the perfect opportunity. Look, Max, I would feel much happier having this conversation after I've actually assessed her, yeah? You're right. All I'm saying is that if we send out a clear message to the others, it should be the perfect place to start. I don't know you can be so calm. I've got all this and I don't even know when I'm being assessed yet. Oh, Helen, when you've been doing this job as long as I have, it takes more than some assessment to get the wind up you. I'm prepared. At all? We had to have a lesson plan for every class at John Foster's. Normally, you see, I do my work up here. But if Mr Tyler wants us to write it down, then... I know we can be a bit severe, but... He is a pretty inspirational leader. Really? <laughs> so was Mussolini. I'm not sure I've ever seen you plan a lesson before. And you still haven't, Tom. I went on the computer and found some old B.Ed. student coursework. Bien. Maintenant, nous allons uh, examiner l'explanation de la piste. Um, but why are we doing this, Miss? You might not find this challenging, Carla, but just because you don't doesn't mean... Well, it's not challenging. That's the problem. The grammar's basic, the vocab is a GCSE standard, and the piece itself feels like it's come from a really old textbook. Really? Well, maybe you should swap places with me, Carla. Why, Miss? You're the teacher. It's just that this isn't teaching us anything. Well, best let me be the judge of that, eh? Alicia. Alicia. What? I think you'll find the word you're looking for is pardon. Or, more appropriately, pardon. Is something distracting you, Alicia? Hmm? Something that perhaps you'd like to share with us? No, sorry, miss. Good. Then I'd like you to read section B, please. Saved by the bell, eh? I don't know what was worse. The outdated plan or the lifeless way you delivered it. Anyone would think you hadn't written that yourself, Steph. Hmm. Would they indeed? 